What is life, after all, but a challenge? And what better challenge can there be than the one between a pitcher and a hitter? That's one of the most famous quotes from Oklahoma native, legendary left-handed pitcher, Warren Spahn. And next week, Major League Baseball's best left-handed pitcher of all time will be honored with the Warren Spahn Award. Joining us now to talk about this award, or I should say the best left-handed pitcher currently. He's the best left-handed pitcher of all time. Uh, joining us now to talk about this honor, Bill Hickman, the chair of the Warren Spahn Award Committee. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Abigail, for having us. We appreciate it very much. This is, I mean, this is spectacular. This thing is beautiful. Yes, it's a beautiful trophy. Uh, it's a piece of artwork. Each one is uniquely crafted by uh, Edmund artist Shan Gray. It's beautiful. About 40 pounds. A about yes, couple about feet 40 tall. pounds cast in bronze with a granite top, and uh, we're very proud of it. It's beautiful. So Warren Spahn, the best left-handed pitcher, most successful left-handed pitcher in all of Major League Baseball, and this award honors the current best lefty. Correct? That's correct. So Warren Spahn is the winningest left-handed pitcher in Major League Baseball history, 363 wins. Uh, Would have had more, but for two years he went and served his country in World War II. Um, and the, the uh, winner this year is John Lester with the Chicago Cubs. And so all the Chicago uh, Cubs fans out there for uh, them winning the World Series, John Lester, as you can see here, is the winner for the 2016 Warren Spahn Award. And we're very thrilled and excited that John has said he uh, plans to be here. My news director is going to be over the moon about this, as she was about the, the World Series win. Walk us through how this award came to be, where the idea came from, the Warren Spahn, the Warren Spahn Awards. We have a lot of legendary athletes and historical athletes in Oklahoma that, you know, go back hundreds of years. Why Warren Spahn? So about 18 years ago in Guthrie, um, Greg Spahn, Warren's son, and Warren Spahn was still alive at that time, and Ferguson Jenkins, who ironically is a Chicago Cubs okay. Hall of Fame pitcher um, who lived in Guthrie. Uh, a group of uh, those gentlemen got together and thought, well, we want to honor Warren. Warren is the winningest left-handed pitcher, um, is a great human being, you know, like I said, served his country. And they came up with the idea of the Warren Spahn Award. And so for about the first 10 years, the award was presented in Guthrie uh, by those gentlemen. And now for about the last uh, eight years, uh, the Bricktown Rotary Club in Oklahoma City, in conjunction with the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame and the Jim Thorpe Association, put on the uh, Warren Spahn Award and present it to the best left-handed pitcher in Major League Baseball. And so now it's a charitable fundraising event for the Rotary Club and the Jim Thorpe Association to help uh, local youth initiatives. Jim Thorpe Association, the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame, obviously both very close to my heart. Absolutely. What are some of these charitable organizations? And if we want to, we can pop up some of the information for the upcoming gala because you do have some tickets available. Um, and they, you know, they come at a price, but the, the um, money goes towards these great charities. So what are some of those organizations? Yeah, so charities in include everything like from the Police Athletic League to uh, New View, Oklahoma, to children with autism or, uh, or Down syndrome and a variety uh, of other I mean, uh, events or uh, fun monies have also gone to uh, some of our schools for educational programs and for uh, children that needed uniforms or to go on a trip for a guitar performance for like class and uh, SAS for example. So a whole host of different youth initiatives and concepts um, that the Rotary Club and the Jim Thorpe uh, folks support in our in our community and as well through Rotary we've done things in an international basis as, as well like for uh, water wells in parts of Africa. So all the money is, uh, does go very well to wonderful uh, causes and initiatives uh, in our community and around the world. And uh, so there is a limited number of tickets and sponsorships still available at www.okcspawnawards.com. It's a wonderful evening. Uh, the food's catered by Petroleum Club. Oh. Uh, you get a chance to uh, meet uh, some of our dignitaries in, and, and uh, folks uh, from the local area uh, and Michelle Smith. Uh, who's a famous baseball or softball pitcher is usually in attendance because we give out softball awards and uh, Ferguson Jenkins is there and we give out awards to high school uh, baseball players and so it's a really fun enjoyable evening. Great event for a great cause and you'll get to see this trophy which I'm telling you this thing is impressive and of course like you said John Lester expected to be there which is going to be the man of the hour. Thank you so much for your time Bill Hickman. Thank we you. appreciate it. You guys do great work there. KOCO 5 News in the morning continues right after I take a picture with this trophy. <laughs>